Hey guys, it's Kerry. Lots of amazing sea animals today. Sit back and relax. Pliosaurus was a carnivorous marine reptile. Mosasaurus was their greatest enemy. They breathed air through their nostrils on the upper front of their head by surfacing. It had a soft hide. Chronosaurus was a short-necked pliosaur growing up to about 30 feet long. They lived in the ocean and surfaced to breathe air. Their strong teeth and jaws could crush shells and tear through squid and octopus. It swam with its flippers much like a turtle. Megalodon means giant tooth. Teeth could grow to seven inches. It was very long, growing up to 59 feet or 18 meters. It mainly ate whales. Megalodon's jaw could open six feet wide and seven feet high. Notice all the rows of teeth. It was the biggest shark that ever lived. Great white shark is a large predatory fish and is probably the most well known and feared shark. They have pale grey skin with white bellies, bullet shaped bodies and a crescent shaped tail and a pointed snout. Look at all those teeth. The lobster. There are two different sorts of lobsters. This is a clawed lobster. They have claws and live in cold water. Lobsters are ten-legged creatures, just like shrimps and crabs, their closest relatives. The lobster molts its shell each year to grow a new larger one. The shell cannot expand in size as the lobster grows. Lobsters without shells are easy prey and they usually hide until their new shell grows. The octopus has a massive rounded head, large eyes and eight distinctive arms. It is able to camouflage itself with its surroundings. Predators such as sharks, eels and dolphins often swim by without even noticing it. Lots of detail here on the tentacles. It's a really nice colour too. When discovered, an octopus will release a cloud of black ink to make its escape. They move forward by expelling water through their mantles. The whale shark is the largest fish in the sea. It is a filter feeder. It feeds near the surface by filtering water through its massive jaws. Its favourite food is plankton. The whale shark's flattened head has a blunt snout above its mouth with short barbels protruding from the nostrils. Ammonite? This cephalopod was predatory. It was a squid-like creature that lived inside a coil-shaped shell. It had a sharp, beak-like jaws inside a ring of tentacles that came out from their shells to trap prey, such as small fish and crustaceans. Largemouth bass is a freshwater fish. It lives in lakes and rivers. It likes quiet and clear water but can survive in other habitats. It generally hides under cover below logs or bridges 
rock ledges and anything else that will help protect and conceal it. And that is one very big mouth. Dunkel Osteus was a heavily armoured fish. It could grow to 11 and a half feet and had large scissor-like cutting jaws with serrated razor sharp bones but no teeth. I'm going to show you my other one in a moment too. This is really nice. Dunkel Osteus. Its skull was over two feet long and it had a jointed neck, an eel-like tail, no scales but a type of armour made of hinged body shields. This is another really nice model too. Shrimp or prawn. They are curved creatures with lots of legs and antenna. They are grey or almost transparent in colour like this one. Larger shrimps are called prawns in some regions. They feed on plankton. Shrimp are able to rapidly dart backwards by flexing their body. They do this to escape predators. Sally Lightfoot Crab It's from the Galapagos Islands and is also called the Red Rock Crab. It's a typically shaped crab with five pairs of legs, the front two bearing small blocky symmetrical pincers, the other legs are broad and flat. The crab's round flat carapace or shell is about 3 to 5 inches or 8 to 12 centimetres across. They are rather flat and low to the ground. Elasmosaurus lived in the ocean and breathed air like a turtle. It was a slow swimmer, using its flippers like a turtle. It ate fish and other swimming animals. It had a very long neck. Mosasaurus was a large snake-like marine reptile that lived during the Cretaceous period. Their closest living relatives would be modern day snakes and monitor lizards. They were powerful swimmers with a long streamlined body that had adapted to living in the seas. It had four short flippers for steering and a long powerful tail to propel it forward. It would surface to breathe. Bowhead whale belongs to the group of baleen whales. It's also known as the Greenland right whale. They are found in the cold waters of the Arctic Sea. They have dark bluish black skin with white patches on the jaw, belly and tail. It doesn't have a dorsal fin. The jaw is arched and it looks like a bow. Its mouth has baleen plates that filter zooplankton and small fish from the seawater. The Great White Shark. I really like this model. You can make its mouth open and shut. Inside the jaws are up to 300 serrated triangular teeth. The first two rows of teeth are used for grabbing and cutting prey. The teeth in the last rows can rotate forward when the front teeth are broken or lost. When the great white attacks, it bites its prey and shakes it. Back and forth, the serrated teeth act as a saw and literally tear the victim apart. Blue crab they are also known as decapods because they have 10 legs. 
the first pair of legs is modified into claws called chele. Crabs walk and swim sideways. The claws are blue but its shell or carapace is a mottled greeny brown colour. Crabs have their eyes on stalks, just like snails. Tylosaurus, it means swollen lizard, referring to its shape. It was a mosasaur and ate fish and other swimming animals by using its powerful streamlined body and four paddle-like limbs. The large head had many teeth which were used for hunting fish and turtles and shellfish. Tylosaurus was not a fast swimmer so it would stalk its prey. Elasmosaurus, as well as a very long neck, it had four paddle shaped flippers, a tiny head with sharp teeth and strong jaws and a pointed tail. It could grow to 46 feet long although half of that was its neck. Blue whale? They are the largest animals to have lived on Earth. These magnificent marine mammals grow to about 100 feet or 30 meters long and upwards of 200 tons. They feed on tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. During certain times of the year, a single adult blue whale consumes about four tons of krill in a day. This is Jaws by Funko. White sharks bare their teeth and roll their eyes back into their heads when they attack, putting the shark's jaw and teeth into the best attack position and at the same time protects the shark's eyes from claws and barbs. White sharks are ambush predators. They prowl below the surface of the ocean looking for prey above. Using its enormously powerful tail for a burst of speed, a white shark will shoot up and bite its prey while slamming it up and out of the sea. The moray eel. It lives in holes and crevices amongst the rocks and coral on the ocean floor where it can also ambush prey. It is found in warm and temperate waters all around the world. Even though it looks like a snake, it's a fish not a reptile. I notice it's a lot thicker where the head part is than the tail. They like to eat fish and squid, cuttlefish and crabs. The weedy sea dragon. Sea dragons are able to blend in with the seaweed and kelp where they live. They are closely related to seahorses and pipefish. They have long thin snouts, slender trunks covered in bony rings and thin tails. Sometimes they drift along in the water and they just look like seaweed. Another great white shark. They have three major fins. A dorsal fin, the one on top that you can see moving through the water like in the movie Jaws. And then there are two pectoral fins, one on each side of the shark and a caudal fin, which is the fin on the tail of the shark. The short fin mako shark. It's very fast as a fish and a shark and can reach top speeds of 45 miles or 74 kilometers per hour. It is able to leap out of the water when hunting. The adult shortfin mako do not have any known natural predators. They are found widely in tropical and temperate waters. Blainville's beet whale, sometimes known as the dense beet whale, are a species of whale that can be found in deep warm waters all over the world. It has two distinctive horn-like teeth that grow from bulges in the lower jaw. They are often encrusted with barnacles. Both male and females have large white spots covering the entire body. 
Lyopleridon was a pliosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period and was a mighty marine predator. It used its nose to smell distant prey underwater. It was a carnivore and ate fish and other sea reptiles. It would come to the surface to breathe. It was a powerful swimmer and propelled itself with four large paddle-shaped limbs, the rear two being larger. The piranha fish lives in the rivers of the South American jungles. It has a single row of razor sharp teeth that are triangular in shape and are used to puncture and rip into prey. The piranhas live together in large shoals. Feeding frenzies will be triggered when there is blood in the water. When this occurs, the water seems to boil and churn with the frenzied piranhas. The blue spotted stingray. The snout is rounded and the mouth and gills are on the underside of the body where you can see them there. The mouth has two plates that can crush crabs, prawns and mollusks. It's a very beautiful looking stingray. The flying fish. Flying fish can be seen jumping out of warm ocean waters worldwide. Their streamlined torpedo shape helps them gather enough underwater speed to break through the surface and their large wing-like pectoral fins get them airborne. Such an amazing sight. Ichthyosaurus was a strong swimmer and surfaced to breathe air through nostrils near the end of its snout. They had sharp teeth and strong jaws with very big eyes. They had four crescent shaped fins and a dorsal fin and a fish like tail. It ate fish, octopus obviously ammonites and other sea animals. They could support themselves in the water on their fins. Temnodontosaurus. It's actually birthing here. It was an ichthyosaur. It would hunt other marine reptiles in the shallow seas. You can see the little baby there. It had massive eyes growing up to 10 inches across. It could grow to about 40 feet or 12 meters in length and had a long snout. Another octopus. They are able to squeeze into small cracks and crevices to escape predators. They are able to regrow a lost arm. They also have beak-like jaws that can deliver a nasty bite and some have venomous saliva. They like to eat crabs and crayfish and mollusks. The lemon shark is yellow in colour with a white belly and can be found along the coasts of North and South America in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. They like to live near coral reefs. Please stay and watch another video with me. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.